like if I do this, like I would get totally lost in the background. What happened is I put my sweater on. Yes, I'm wearing a sweater and I wasn't thinking about my background. So if I do this, you could actually think that my head is just floating since my sweater just fade in the background but guess what I'm not in the mood to change it i'm feeling good in my sweater hello everyone how are you all doing now i find myself drinking a lot of tea these days i think it's the time of the year when it's a little bit colder i tend to want something warm so i tend to reach for a cup of tea but nowadays i'm not drinking any old tea what i find myself reaching for a lot is a tea that i actually don't like to drink and that is some green tea. Now, do you drink green tea? I drink green tea and I am now consuming a bit of a green tea, but the honest truth is I do not like green tea. There's so many things out there that people tend to consume that they do not like, but they tend to do it because it is beneficial to the body. Like for me also, I'm not only drinking green tea, but I am taking this bitter that is loaded with all kind of good stuff for women, bitters that contain ingredients like marine merengue and black seed oil that thing is extremely bitter guy like so 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 bitter but i think i need it i think i need to flush the system out and i think i need to purge and all of that good stuff so i am drinking green tea and i am taking this bitter that i really don't like so what mood am i in now funny enough i'm actually in a very very good mood i'm in such a good mood that i am bringing you the guys some amazing videos and when I'm in a good mood you actually can tell because the videos get better because I spend the time on them I love doing them and therefore guess what I'm bringing you today I am gonna share with you a remedy that I use on my skin mostly at night that is just an amazing remedy I just sat one day and I came up with this remedy and I tried it on my skin and I so love it I started making it and it was so good that I started to share it with friends and family so I'm gonna share this recipe with you today it is actually an overnight facial cream yes I said a facial cream but it can be double as a facial mask as a matter of fact call it what you want to call it just think of the many benefits that you're gonna get from just applying this on your skin at night so if you're looking for an overnight facial cream slash facial mask that's gonna tighten the skin and basically give you that instant lift that instant tightness that instant glow that radiant glow that have you waking up looking amazing fresh and beautiful guess what follow me to the kitchen and i'll show you how to whip this up in no time i'll also will give you a full explanation of the ingredient and i will also show you how you can use it on your skin for best results so what are you waiting for let's go in the kitchen now to make this recipe you're gonna need a blender preferably a small blender you're also gonna need a strainer and you're also gonna need a jar for storage now here i have the first ingredient and let me bring this up close take a look this is cooked rice cooked white rice and I'm using the rice today for its anti-aging benefit the rice is gonna help to tighten the skin firm the skin It's gonna help to smooth wrinkles and fine lines and it's also gonna help to moisturize and hydrate the skin when mixed with the other ingredient so the very first thing I'm gonna do with this rice I'm gonna be blended but I cannot blend the rice dried by itself. So I'm gonna introduce the second ingredient that I'm gonna blend with the rice. And here I have a half of a medium cucumber. Now cucumber is beneficial to the skin because it contains a vitamin C and it also contains caffeic acid which both help to fight and reduce inflammation or irritated skin and also hydrates the skin, brighten the skin and will have your skin younger and fresher looking when used on a regular. So what I'm going to be doing with this cucumber, I'm going to wash and chop. So I'm going to just cut my cucumber I'm using about two ounces of the cucumber chop in small pieces if you have a powerful blender you do not need to chop the cucumber and the cucumber is going to provide the juice for the rice 
for easier blending. So we're just gonna add our chopped cucumber to the blender. Smells so refreshing. As I said, about two ounces. And for the cooked rice, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of the cooked rice. Give and take. And that's it. We're gonna blend the two of these together to begin with. So here it is. I'm gonna cover and I'm gonna blend. Now take a look at this guys. Here we have our blended cucumber and rice. Now what we're gonna do, we are gonna strain since we want this to be very smooth. So we're gonna just take our strainer, place it over our bowl, and we're gonna dump this in our strainer. In this way, we will get rid of all the lumps. So make sure to get everything out. So now what we're gonna do, we are gonna strain. And to strain this, you just have to keep pressing it, like I'm showing here. Make it come out very smooth. You can choose to use a cheesecloth with this also. And as you can see, there are lumps in it. This is what we don't want. And that's why we're straining it. No lumps, just very smooth. Now take a look guys, here we have our rice cucumber cream. We're gonna move on and introduce the other ingredient. Now the next ingredient is aloe vera gel and today I'm using the store-bought aloe vera gel. If you do not have the store-bought, go ahead and use the fresh aloe vera gel in this recipe. It's quite okay. Now aloe vera gel helps to smooth the skin. It also helps to get rid of dryness, roughness and itchy skin. It also is useful to help with eczema, acne, aloe vera gel, most of all help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes. It moisturizes the skin, hydrates the skin. It also will help to boost the collagen production in the skin and help to restore the skin elasticity. So I have some leftover in this, so let me use this one. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon of the aloe vera gel in this recipe. If you're using the fresh aloe, go ahead and use the same amount, one tablespoon. And we're gonna pour this in. Moving on to my next ingredient, which is avocado oil, rich in vitamin A, rich in potassium, rich in vitamin C. It also contains vitamin D, also contains electrolytes that will help to restore the skin elasticity, smooth the wrinkles out, and have your skin hydrated when used on a regular. For our avocado oil, I am gonna be using one tablespoon of the avocado oil. Pour this in. Now guys, once that is done, at this stage, you're gonna choose to use your special oils in this. Now use oils that you personally like. For me, I like to use a number of special oils in my overnight cream. The first oil is vitamin E, and I suggest everybody try to use a bit of a vitamin E in this. If you do not have vitamin E, you can use an oil rich in vitamin E, such as a grapeseed oil or almond oil. I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of the vitamin E. My vitamin E is 28,000 IU, so a little goes a long way, around about a half a teaspoon. If you're using less IU, use more for the recipe. Now vitamin E is hydrating to the skin. It's like an all-rounder oil for your skin, regardless of your skin type. It will not clog the pores. It will just smooth the skin, and it is also great for wrinkles and fine lines. Now the next special oil that I personally like to use is some rose hip oil. Now guys, as I said, these oil are special oil that I choose to use in mine. Use your favorite oil. You can use cacao oil, sesame seed oil. You can also choose to use some aloe vera oil. You can use some carrot seed oil. Just choose the oils you have. So I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of the rose hip oil in this recipe. Run about a teaspoon is good. And then I'm just gonna blend it in, mix well. 
and it's gonna be very very creamy now if you have vegetable glycerin go ahead and use a little bit in this help to preserve it however because we're using fresh cucumber and boiled rice in this you will have to keep this in the refrigerator what is gonna happen is that it's gonna get thick so do not make a lot of this just make enough that will last you for about seven days since after seven days you will have to discard it because we use fresh produce with no form of a uh, preservative okay so once this is blend well I personally like to use glass jar for these remedies let's pour it in and as you can see it's a real cream you can also go ahead and add some shea butter or some cocoa butter to this or even some coconut oil just know that the base is rice and cucumber with some avocado oil no avocado oil use almond oil as the base okay and here it is guys your overnight cucumber rice cream perfect anti-aging cream loaded with vitamin a or vitamin c it also contains beta carotene this also contains a bit of a vitamin k therefore it's good to use under your eyes just an amazing overnight cream now you want to use this every night whenever you so choose on your skin put lay it on right after your facial toner sleep with it and rinse it off in the morning press it on the skin wake the skin up and you're gonna feel that that kind of a glue gum or whatever it is you want to call it you're gonna feel you know when you're putting it on like it's dragging that's okay